The concept that I'm going to speak on today is the foundation of all concepts. Your architect will advise you, I'm sure, that if you're going to put money into any part of the construction, put it in the foundation. If you have to cut anywhere, cut on the walls or the roof, but don't cut on the foundation because you can replace everything else. But if the foundation isn't right, the whole building will collapse. This, this is the most powerful concept known to mankind. And it must be mastered before moving on to other concepts. And until you get this concept, nothing else matters. It, it flows through our whole being, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the superconscious mind. This concept either liberates you and gives you untold liberty, unlimited liberty, or this concept puts you in prison. Oh, I heard of the technique. I heard of this philosophy, this concept, since I was a very small child. I know I heard of it, but I did not understand it. The concept is infinite. It is limitless. And it does not become finite until a human being takes hold of it and places his limitations on it. The concept is commonly referred to as the I am. The I am is the most powerful of all concepts. John Average Man takes this I am thing and he binds himself with it. No human being lives outside this law. And that we all use it to either confine ourselves and create a prison of our own manufacturing here or liberate ourselves. I'm a good husband, I'm a good father, I'm a female, and I have a good education. I'm five foot 10 and I'm 150 pounds and I have a PhD and draws a blank. And the next one stands up and says, I am a truck driver. I'm a hard worker. I am honest. Draws a blank and sits down. And we find that each person has their little different I am. But in reality, they're all the same. Within this small circle are my I am's. And this is the limit of my liberty. And everything outside this circle is foreign and not accessible to me. Because I am my I am's. And the, the, the degree of liberty you have the, the degree of movement that you have is dr directly in proportion to your I am's. We are the sum total of our thoughts. To think is to create. And when we, when we begin to understand that the conscious mind is a sower of seeds, and the subconscious mind is a fertile field, and it will grow any seed planted there, whatever that may be. And the harvest will be great if we take care of it the way it was intended to be. We plant corn, we reap corn, but we must harvest out the negativity, and the negativity is the, is, the thi is the thistles and the weeds, because they choke out your crop, they limit your crop. Negativity neutralizes your production, it, it neutralizes the abundance of the fruit you'll reap. How do you do that? You do that by risk, you do that by taking chances, you do that by conceiving something greater than you are then we begin to create a new us. All you've got to do is conceive in your mind, you, right now, being all that you could be. Conceive that in your mind. And then see yourself doing those things that are necessary for you to be that way. You start acting and you start thinking like that person. In a short period of time, we become that. We are the sum total of our thoughts. But it will be of no great value to you unless you practice it, unless you use it. It's like saying, would you like to have large muscles? Would you like to physically be strong? Would you like to be in better physical shape? The answer comes back always yes. What's necessary is exercise. What's necessary is discipline. What's necessary is that we take possibly some weights and say, here, lift these weights. You can't get muscles by watching me lift weights. And so the I am, it is a vehicle that with the knowledge, if you practice it and apply it, you can change where you're at emotionally, physically, mentally, your wealth consciousness. All about you can change once you start using this concept and applying it to you on an hourly basis, minute by minute. The I am concept's very simple. If you remember it with me, it goes like this. 
I am a leader. That is a truth. I am a leader. I am. I'm not talking about uh, being in the military. I'm not talking about being any kind of leader in any kind of a group, social or otherwise. I'm talking about being a leader of self, a person who has accepted the responsibility for the way they think, and that they choose the thoughts they're going to dwell upon, that they think of those thoughts. I am a leader. In other words, it doesn't matter what my family heritage is. It doesn't matter what my age is. It doesn't matter what my height is. It doesn't matter what my sex is. I am a leader. I am. The beauty of being positive, the safety in being a positive leader is that darkness cannot exist in the presence of light. A negative leader cannot exist in the presence of a positive leader. He cannot. I am a leader. I am.